In this video, we're going to talk about how to get that gray monochromatic manga type newspaper print grays on your artwork. And Clip Studio Paint EX and Pro, this works in both, comes with a lot of materials that you can just drag and drop to get that effect. Uh, Clip Studio Paint used to be called Mongo Studio after all. So if we go up here to this little arrow and we click to the left, you will see the materials menu. It'll probably look, it might be collapsed like that. Just click that, click monochromatic, go down to basic. And once you do that, over here, you're going to see a lot of lines and dots and little patterns. So if we scroll through, we can see that dots are different sizes, different degrees. You'll see a percentage. That is the percent gray uh, that this will make it when it's reduced. So we're going to scroll down here and let's try to find maybe a 30% right there. We'll experiment just a little bit. But as you go lower, you'll see some, uh, some smaller dots. And that's more of what we want. The way you do this is you can get your selection tool. And let's say we have light coming from up here in the top left. And I'm just going to select an area here around his head to make a shadow. And once I have selected the area, I will just grab one of these that is going to be dark enough. Let's say, let's say the 40% drag it over here. You'll see that it makes it look, if you zoom in with dots, but once you zoom out, gives it a grayer look as those dots on a smaller image come closer together. It looks gray. That's how grays are made in newspaper print back in the day and in manga on that, uh, that newspaper type paper. So once I've got here and I want to change things around, I can hit my eraser tool and just erase these dots. One thing to note is every time you drop in a uh, pattern, it creates a new layer for it. So your layers can get kind of out of hand pretty quick if you're not careful. I'm going to erase this on his mask as well. But let's just say we've got some different areas here where some light shining and we can just erase. So let's say I want to make combine different layers. I'll select his or different shades. I will select his mask. 5%. There we go. And it's kind of hard to see because it's small dots, but it's making it a lighter shade. And you can go back and forth and if I wanted to make it almost even a gradient. I could do the same thing. So this one was about 40%. If I got a 10% there, you'll see that actually makes it look like there is a, a gradient in that, that light. This is how to use just the basic grays and get that manga type feel to your art. Hope this helps. If there are any other tutorials you'd like to see in Clip Studio Paint, uh, please let me know in the comments. Please leave a comment anyway. It helps uh, the video's out. Please like and subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications. I'm uploading tutorials every day, and I'll see you next time.